been in D.C. all my life. Uh, 48 years old. So 48 years I've been in Washington, D.C. I lost six jobs in one year and tried to commit suicide. This is when some stepped in and helped me out a lot. That's, they put me on medication and, and, like I said, walked me through slow. So, right now I can't work. My psychiatrist don't want me to go to work right now. Uh, my therapist don't want me to go to work right now. I want to go to work, but I got to listen to what they're saying because if I don't, no telling what could happen. I'm waiting on Social Security and I've been waiting two years. And I'm still waiting. So IDA is the only thing I have coming in. If they cut IDA, then I'm, I'm lost. I'll be back out in the street doing the same thing I was at first. You see the homeless situation. A lot of them people that are homeless have mental disorders. This is why they can't function in main society. If they was able to get IDA, they would at least be able to have a place to live like I do. If you don't have any income, you can't get an SRO, you can't get an apartment, housing won't help you in no, in no, no kind of way. But if you have some sort of income, housing, SROs, a lot of them will pick you up. I pay $81 a month for rent. I think that's beautiful for right now. All I get is $270. That's not a lot of money for a, a month, but it's better than no money at all than living on the street. I done slept on crates, I done been homeless shelters. I don't want to do that anymore. $270 is better than nothing at all.